Hey, this is Miracle Off Builds, and I'm back from a uh, unintentionally long hiatus. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But today I'm going to make a Weaver's Mercer over here in this general area. And uh, before I do that, I'd like to thank a few people for subscribing. And they would be Mr. Teo de Petrosian, Trooper91, a PC Canadian Gamer, Mac Madden, Phantom409 Tipsy Easy, 26 Jason JDM Lasco11, Christian Orzo Co96. Also, uh, one of my subscribers, uh, which I, I believe I did mention, uh, did say their, uh, thank them for subscribing before but they never saw it apparently so uh, I would also like to thank unfp videos for subscribing thank you and uh, I'm gonna begin the construction over here
the Weaver's Mercer is complete. We'll take a look at the exterior here. I obviously, uh, what the weavers do is they, uh, they take string and dyes and make uh, colored wool, and tapestries and such, and rugs and pretty much every kind of uh, textile uh, material that is used in the city. Of course, they would, uh, part of their architectural design would involve colored wool. Uh, also, I just discovered that I made a mistake here. Uh, each of these square uh, plots are, you know, eight torches uh, wide and by, you know, eight torches by eight torches with a gap of uh, four blocks in between them. I just realized as I was building this that this was not as uh, a uniform square shape, so I was able to discover that I made a mistake here, which is unfortunate because this would be the second time that I have to tear up all of these channels and move stuff around. Kind of annoying. This is the uh, the gathering chamber for the Mercer of the Weavers, where they, like the other Mercers, make all of their uh, decisions democratically. And these are uh, the looms. This is the best I could come up with to the best I could come up with how to portray a loom in Minecraft. And this is just a uh, spot for uh, the tapestries and whatnot to be folded. Oh, what they do need is a chest, which I don't have the wood for. And it's getting dark. So obviously, there's a. Uh, I've done some uh, off-camera work, uh, more a bit more than usual since I've uh, there was about that week or so in which I was waiting for my uh, my new headset that I'm using, the new headset I'm using to uh, actually get to me. It was supposed to be two-day shipping, but it took more like a week and a half, which is uh, really disappointing. Usually, I don't leave reviews on Amazon and that kind of thing, but I am this time and I'm going to mention that uh, the two-day shipping which I paid an extra thirty dollars for is a ripoff. Anyways, so I've uh, flattened this area out over here and I also uh, did some more digging of channels and I, as I said uh, a few moments ago, uh, I did have to correct the uh, the plots because they weren't square. As I said, they needed to be four or eight torches by eight torches with uh, four blocks in between each each set of torches. And so I had to uh, basically uh, it was extended to here. It was uh, for some reason nine torches by eight torches. So the original channel was right through here. So I had to dig out a new channel that way and then sort of uh, fill this with uh, cobblestone and add uh, sand to the top. i also been doing stuff like uh, collecting wool. I have a bunch of wool or a moderate amount of wool. And I'm also uh, farming the uh, the reeds, the, uh, the sugar cane. Let's see here. Yeah. Not quite as nearly as much as I need yet, because I want to. I need to make a ton of bookcases before I upgrade to 1.3, which, as of uh, the time of me making this video, has just come out. But I'm not going to be updating to 1.3 for several weeks, because, as I said, I need to. I need to get a bunch of bookcases and books before I do that, because. Uh, they won't be made of paper and wood anymore. They'll be made of leather and paper, I think. Leather's involved, and leather takes an extremely long amount of time to collect in any decent amount. So I'm not... So I'm obviously hesitating. Also, I want to wait until Tricapitator 
that your capitator mod's been updated for 1.3. And at that point, I will upgrade to 1.3, and there's a lot of good additions to 1.3 that I'm actually uh, fairly excited for. I'll, I'll finish collecting these later, actually. It's kind of annoying and distracting. But, uh... I plan on putting... I plan on uh, using my... Uh, my time uh, off work, uh, with just my weekend, to, uh, I'm going to try and get five videos made. I think I can do it. So there should be a full a full week of uh, Mirgloth builds coming soon, post this, uh, the date of this video being uploaded. I also did some other, uh, some more off-camera work. Not a terrible amount, but uh, I've been slowly deconstructing this NPC village over here. Because it just doesn't fit in with uh, my plans for this uh, entire area. Because right over there is going to be, or actually around here, is going to be the center of the city. And I've torn down a few of the houses. I've only got a couple more to go. I'm going to leave these uh, farm plots for now because I'm getting bread from them. Yeah, I don't believe I've shown uh, the sheep situation. Plan on making more stalls for different colored sheep. I'm going to have uh, yellow and green up next. I'm just waiting for that grass to all grow in. Takes a bit of time. And I've also got another uh, sugar cane farm over there. And this is... The, the regular sheep pen or basically uh, have enough grass and enough sheep in there where I can non-stop collect wool as they regenerate their wool fast enough for me to uh, not have to you know sit around and wait for them to regenerate their wool but uh, I can't think of anything else worth mentioning so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Gonna, I'm right now gonna immediately start on the uh, working on the next video. Uh, there will be more videos soon.